Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, I want to say thank you for the support that you have rendered to this channel ever since it started. It's growing steadily, courtesy of your support. Thank you very much, uh, guys. If you are watching us for the first time, I want to request you for only two or three things. One, kindly hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that anytime I do a video like this, then YouTube will automatically notify you. Another thing that I want to request, kindly check on our videos and give them likes. The more our videos get many likes, the more YouTube will recommend them to other viewers and that is how you can also help this channel, ladies and gentlemen. So like and share our videos. Now, the Lord's Minister, Dr. Uh, Kipchumba Murkomen, has been living in the moon. So yesterday he jetted into the country from the moon fresh from the moon, and then someone took him to State House. So while walking around the corridors of State House, Kipchumba bumped into some document. And on further scrutiny, he just realized that it is a contract, the SGR contract between the Kenyan government and the Chinese government. And this is something that Kipchumba Murkomen was never privy to. It is something that he has never heard about. In fact, he saw it for the first time. And when he released it to Kenyans, it was supposed to be very sensational. It was just supposed to be breaking news because Kipchumba Merkomen never knew anything about SGR. At least, that is what Kipchumba wants us to believe. In 2014, ladies and gentlemen, when the then called opposition led by Raila Odinga and uh, among them, Moses Wetangula, Musalia Mdavadi, and, uh, and Ankalozo Musyoka raised questions about the awarding of contract of the SGR to some company. And they wanted the president to review because they thought there was an anomaly that could lead to some loss of taxpayers' money. Kipchumba Murkomen and uh, people like Aden Dwale, who are now shouting as if they've never heard about this document were defending this contract and they told off the opposition they, they back then they felt that the opposition was anti-development and just check this video then you'll know what i'm talking about that the president has the power has the authority to suspend that contract and order a fresh process so that he carries the confidence of everybody so that kenyans a promise to the people of Kenya ya kwamba railway inatakikana kujengwa before 2017. Ile kandarasi ilipeanwa ilianza process for last eight years ikikanzoliwa leo itaanza za angabi mpaka tupate reli before 2017. Na watu wa Nairobi hapa wanangojea reli. Ama nyinyi mtaki kupitisha hapa mzigo yenu hapa ndio vijana wapate kazi. Sasa wakati Uhuru na Ruto wamesengana serikali na jubli wanataka kuleta another anglo leasing. Sijui wataita nini? Na wakaanza na hii reli. Hii manana ya reli, huyo kijana, hawa mawakili, hiyo yote si tunajua. We must build the railway, we must expand our infrastructure, expand the road network, expand our electricity generation, expand our food production, so that we can grow this economy by double digits and create jobs for the young people of our nation. And nobody is going to stop us from doing what we promised the people of Kenya to do. Kwa hivyo, hawa watu wanaangaika hapa katikati, watafute kazi ngini ya kufanya. Now, in that video, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen both Kipchumba, Aden Dwele, and William Samoy Ruto chiding the opposition. And this is to tell you that our politicians will never be honest with us. And this is something that I find very ridiculous, that we live in the same nation and barely 10 years when things have transpired, then our politicians really feel that they can look, at into the, look us into the face and lie to us. They really believe that we forget that fast. I think from the tweets that Murkomen is reading, he knows that Kenyans don't forget that much and that fast. Now, keep Chumba Murkomen was the majority leader, the Senate majority leader then. That means he was very privy to everything that was happening. He was close to William Ruto 
and, uh, and Uhuru, and he was really defending them. Aden Dwale was the majority leader in, uh, in parliament, and Kimani Ichungwa, who will receive that document that they start discussing in parliament, because now he's the majority leader in parliament, was the chairman of parliamentary budget committee. So the whole thing about uh, making this document look like it, it, it just landed from some planet is something that uh, I must say is a fallacy and the height of pretense that I have ever seen. Now, if you look further, you will realize, ladies and gentlemen, that our president, Mr. Ruto, who was then the, the deputy president, kept on updating Kenyans and the world as a whole on the progress of the SGR. And at some point, he even went to supervise and assess the progress that the SGR had made. And uh, in fact, I think that was somewhere in Mutitwandei. And he really defended this project and explained just how it, would, it, it, does, it will create jobs to the youths and how it will ease uh, communication. J just take a look. Jezi ambao unaendelea hapa itabadilisha uchumi wa mtito wa ndei. Na hivyo ndivyo tutakavyo badilisha Kenya hii. Kenya hii ya weze kubadilisha kwa story tu, inabadilisha kwa kazi. Safari ya kutoka Mombasa kwenda Nairobi ambayo ilikuwa ni karibu siku mzima, masaa masaba nane, sasa itakuwa masaa manne. Unatoka Nairobi, unakula lunch ya Mombasa. Ama nama gani? Na iyo express eh, train ambayo itakuwa inakuja hapa kutop from Mombasa, masaa mawili umefika hapa. Masaa mawili ngine umefika Nairobi. Sindia ni hivyo? Na... Yeah, and so I want to put it to you, ladies and gentlemen, that yesterday when I watched the whole UDA brigade filming with fury, <laughs> as if they've never seen, as if there was something new that had happened in the country, I knew these people are not serious and they have not come to, uh, to reality that they are in the government and the blame game will never help them achieve their promises. And uh, most people believe that Mr. Murkomen and team are trying to, uh, this is a diversionary tactics, because he's putting a lot of energy into the SGR, yet there are pilots that uh, have downed their tools, and I think today they were all sacked, and they advertised those positions, they have thwarted the CBA negotiations, and I thought, uh, I was just thinking, why can't uh, Murkomen put the same energy uh, that is uh, putting here to I mean deceive Kenyans into resolving things like uh, the kind of strike that is going on at the JKIA. Is it a case of misplaced priorities? Because all, everything in this government seems to be misplaced. If you look at each and every minister who just took oath of office recently, you, you would not believe. Mr. Machugu the other day was saying that they will, stop, they will soon stop uh, funding public universities. Murkomen has abandoned uh, pilots and, uh, and the airlines are grounded and is now telling people about the SGR. Why can't we have a serious government that is looking at uh, the plight of Kenyans? Mr. Rigadi Gashag, who is the deputy president, will not be tired, uh, in fact, every Sunday when he goes to church, of blaming Raila or when Raila, if Raila had not left the position, there would have not been state capture. I think this must stop and Kenyans might now shout out very loud and call upon the government to be serious, implement whatever they, uh, the promises that they gave to Kenyans. Now, looking at the document that we have, ladies and gentlemen, the SGR that uh, we, we, we built was built from Mombasa to Nairobi. And I was just doing a, a little bit of uh, comparison because ours was uh, a 480 kilometers, ladies and gentlemen, and our engine is a diesel engine. Remember, the modern SGRs today are uh, electric uh, engines. So ours, and you'll allow me to refer, ours was uh, 480 kilometers from Mombasa to Nairobi. I think it has been extended 
and uh, it cost us um, 3.8 billion US dollars. And our neighboring uh, country, Ethiopia, built uh, the electric engine uh, 750 kilometers, almost double ours, and they used much, much lower uh, amount of money, only 4 billion US dollars. And then in Tanzania, the late president, uh, John Pombe Magvuli, was very prudent in using uh, taxpayers' money, built an electric uh, engine, a uh, railway, at only 1.2 uh, 1 billion US dollars. And uh, even though, ladies and gentlemen, the idea behind the SGR was a noble idea, it was exaggerated and this money went into some people's, uh, people's pockets. And Murkomen and the team cannot exonerate themselves. As, uh, in fact, the way they are trying to do it is to put the blame game on Uhuru Kenyatta as they have always done to prove to Kenyans that uh, everything that the former president did was wrong. They have always thwarted everything. They have done away with uh, virtually everything. The cousin Tani that was supposed to give money to the youths, the subsidies on, on co com uh, commodities like uh, fuel and unga has been done away with. The special service unit uh, that was under the control of the DCI was abandoned and the uh, junior officers have been arrested. So everything that was initiated and implemented by Uhuru Kenyatta is wrong in the face of uh, Kipchumba Murkomen and the Ruto government. So in this video I just wanted uh, ladies and gentlemen to ask you one question. Do you think this government is uh, on the right track? Because we are grappling with uh, very many challenges and I think the best way to try and deal with our problems is to face them head on. In fact, I want to believe that if this government would have a meeting, a cabinet meeting, and they resolve that number one, minute one, we are going to block our ears so that we don't listen to what opposition is saying and we concentrate on our work. Number two, we are going to question regarding Shagwa so that when he goes to the churches, he will not be speaking about state capture and speaking about Raila Odinga. Number three, we are going to tell Kenyans, we are sorry we started on a wrong foot, but now these are the steps that we want to make. I can assure you, we can go, uh, we can do much more and we can do better than what we are doing now. I wanted to put to Kenyans one thing because I don't want to forget this. In Kenya, we just have one nation, and I would like to remind you, one nation, which is Kenya and two tribes. They have and they have not. So when the politicians are behaving the way they are behaving, they want to make us believe that Uhuru was bad. But the saddest reality is that all these politicians, whether it is Uhuru, Kenyatta, Kipchumba, Murkomen, Raila, all these people, they belong to the same class. So as they keep on shouting against each other and uh, reminding us that Uhuru was bad, these people can afford even a hundred meals in a day. There are families in Kenya today who cannot afford even a meal in a day. There are families today who cannot even afford water, sanitary, because some of these things, clean water, these are uh, World Health uh, recommendations that a normal person in a normal country, there should be uh, made available uh, water. There are animals that are dying here and there. So all these tactics, are meant to divert our attention, but by the end of the day, the end result is that common wananchi die anaumia. And so, ladies and gentlemen, William Samoy Ruto and the entire brigade, those who are now shouting that they got something new, were part and parcel of the SGR. If SGR is a problem, then they are part of this problem. Why can't they just own up? and say that yes, because SGR is supposed to be paid 80 million per year, let us look at how we are going to pay this amount of money. They were part of it. The other problems that, uh, because it's true that Kenya got a road deal, because even the contractor who was uh, doing the SGR was exempted from paying taxes. And if their 
fell any arbitration which there was a problem then we were not allowed to hear those cases in Kenya we had to go to Beijing so indeed Kenya got a raw deal but my emphasis is William Ruto was part and parcel of whatever happens in SGR this video will show you just how William Ruto defended and explained even much later when the SGR had been I think completed and it was being uh, pressured by the media to explain the benefits of the SGR it was still his position that the SGR was a noble idea so I want us to stop this pretense and call upon Mr. Murkomen that they have their time and history will be written how I wish that when history is written they should not be counted as those who gave uh, excuses but rather those who stood up to be counted and they fixed roads they fixed problem of drought they reduced uh, prices of basic commodities and they made life even cheaper let them take this opportunity to alleviate the poverty level that very many Kenyans are suffering from let them take this opportunity because it, it's their time to fight corruption diseases and unemployment and ladies and gentlemen that is my take i don't know what you think i don't know that i'm reading too much and as always these are my thoughts i would like to hear your your thoughts on the comment section thanks for watching until we do another video cheers